Okay, I was going to take this down the woods and connect it to the cabin, but as we're all on lockdown, that's not going to happen. So I thought I'm going to give it a test here. I've got a spare battery. So these are the crocodile clips I bought. Um, I can put a link in the description. They're all right. They're not the best, but they're all right. So I've trimmed the end off, ready to go into the control unit. And this is negative, and make sure it is. Yeah, that's the negative one. So let's put him in. So negative this side. We've seen all this before, but I just need to test it just to see if it's working. There we go. And then the positive one, which has got the red crocodile clip on. There you go. And the positive side. And it's such a beautiful day. We, I suppose we are very lucky at the moment. The weather's held off for us. Okay. It's not going in that well, a bit more. flexi panel that I've got, a 50 watt flexi panel, nice and tight, nice and tight, okay, so I did a video before on connecting these up and crimping them, and I'll put that link in the link, up here somewhere, yeah, these are the clips, I, I thought we, we, they came with two lots, I thought I'd lost, drop these on the floor, right, so, Panel. Put in the film. The film comes off. Anyway, so you've got the here we go. Female connector, and then that goes into. I'm going to sort all this out now. Let me give this a bit of a tidy. Right, just tidy up a little bit. Okay, we now got positive and negative. And these go into the uh, charge control unit. So we're going to place them into here. You can't go wrong, they can only go around one way. So, positive, I mean negative. And positive and there we go and then what we'll do then we'll plug them let's take it around to the triangle charge we're at home in there as I said we're not going to the cabin right right positive off negative off positive on Negative one. And there we go. 12.6 reading. And all right, let's zoom into the control panel. You'll see that better then. Actually, I'll take you off the stand. And if you can see that. There you go. So the solar panel is sending power to the battery. We've got 12.7 volts at the moment coming from the panel. Let's see what else. I haven't seen. I haven't done seen what this does yet. The battery. Oh, whatever that means. 13.7. I have to read the instructions. So back to that. What's this one do? Sorry. No, no. I have to read the instructions. And then, oh, that turns the power that you're going to connect two wires to here to either a um, another device. Well, let me look at that. So we've gone up. Uh, we've gone up one volt, twelve point eight. So the solar panel's working beautiful. That's great. So let's go through the whole connection, shall we? Let's go back here. Let's start again. 
So, solar panel, 50 watt solar panel to the connectors, which I'll put in the video in the description where well, it will come up over there. Follow that through, and they go up into the control panel voltage control unit, whatever you want to call it, and they're going in to the positive and negative side of the control unit. And then from then, you're taking a positive and a negative out, and you're going then to a battery. But also you have the option on the control panel to take out another power supply, it's called power, and you can, can, you can do cigarette lighter or whatever you want to do to power. Where are we? It's very difficult, there we go. So those two, there's the negative out. And then, from your battery, you take whatever you want to run. But don't forget, you can't run a fridge uh, and stuff like that without an inverter. Um, but also, if you run high-end appliances off a battery through an inverter, the battery's not going to last very long. It'll deplete very quickly. So it's mainly like for charging, USB ports, um, phones. You could do a laptop. Once it's, once it's fired up, it should be right through the inverter, and that'll do it okay. But you'll need direct sunlight to keep it going and topped up. We're up to 12.8, and I'll come back in a second and see if it goes a bit more yet. Hmm, 12.9. I'm sorry to drive for a bit of a scrappy video. I just wanted to get this tested, make sure it did work, unless I have to send it back. And it's working a treat, so 50 watt solar panel. I did take the film off in the end. It's quite easy to do. Well, it's a bit sticky, but it's fine. So, as soon as I did that, we got up to 12.9 volts. Let's see if it climbs a little bit more, yep. Yeah. Still at 12.9, but my phone battery is going down. So, what better way than let's charge it back up again. Let's take this off as well. Oh, that's better. It looks better, doesn't it? People leave it on, I can't stand it. It's got to come off. In the right way. Okay, let's we'll see if it charges the phone up. Oh yes, and there you go. So it's charging the phone at the same time. Okay, the sun is just about to drop out behind the house, so I thought we'll call it quits. 12.9 volts, you can see just... Where's my... here we go, where's my... I don't want to get in there. You can see the little sun sign symbol, and then the solar panel, and then the arrow pointing towards the battery. Got my phone plugged in it's charging at the same time as well hope this video is any good i thought it was a bit scatty i just wanted to test it see if it was working anyway and it seems to be working great so thanks very much take care and we'll catch you in the next vid